Today's video is going to be a donate, decorate, or DIY. Also the Red Merry Christmas canister. This is my maybe pile, and that is my donate pile. I'm not gonna say it's a fail yet, I just wanted to let you know that it might be a fail. Hello everyone, what is up, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Katie. I live in Orlando, and I make all shopping and shop with me content, as well as home decor and home decoration inspiration videos. I basically love shopping all around my favorite stores, like Target, TJ Maxx, Walmart, World Market, Kirkland's, Michaels, Joann's. I love showing you what is new in the store, any new seasonal decor, while also hunting for like clearance deals and sales. Just imagine me like your eyes around the store and insight as to what is new and what is current and sales in the store just to give you an idea of what you might be able to find at your location near you. So if you love shopping videos or home decoration tips or home DIYs, you're definitely gonna love it here. So please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel when you give the video a thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subscribers by Christmas so it would really help me out if you would hit that subscribe button. Today's video I am so excited about. Now I don't know if anyone has done this video before. I didn't like search it on Google or anything. I just in my brain feel like I came up with a really fun idea for the Christmas decor I already have. I know my style has changed especially a lot since last year. So today's video is going to be a Donate, decorate, or DIY. We're gonna be looking at all the Christmas decor that I have from years past, last year, and any years before that. Any of my Christmas decor, I brought it all up from the garage. We're gonna go through every single piece, and I'm gonna be telling you if I'm gonna be donating it, DIYing it to make it work with the decor I already have, which I'm very excited about that aspect, or decorating it and like leaving it exactly how it is. I also would love to know if you do this with your decor or if I maybe have inspired you to do this with your decor. I want to try to save money and I feel like I can reinvent a lot of the items that I already have. So definitely let me know down below if this is something you have done or would consider doing with your decor. So I am so excited. I think this is gonna be so fun. So if you are excited to see if I'm gonna donate, DIY, or decorate with all my Christmas decor I currently have, then just keep watching because we're gonna head inside right now. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna show you all of the bins of decor and show you what I have and kind of tell you how we're gonna go about everything and where the different piles are gonna be. And then we're gonna start to go through all the items and decide if we're gonna donate, DIY, or decorate. I am so excited to do this. I feel like I have a lot of stuff from last year that I'm either gonna donate and it would make somebody else really happy or I'm gonna DIY it and see if I can turn it into something that I love that will fit in with my new style of Christmas decor for this year. This year I am going for like a neutral cozy glam so some sparkly elements neutral but I am gonna do pops of a really really dark green so any items I have like that I will be taking that into consideration of keeping them or donating them I don't know okay so let's get into it let me show you all the stuff that I currently have all the bins okay so this is my decor that I kept from last year I feel like I did kind of go through it last year what are you smelling they're just kind of smelling everything. So there are three totes. There was a fourth tote. <laughs> we'll get into that in a second. There are two trees, a wreath, couple signs, things like that. So we're gonna dive into everything. So like I was saying, we are down a tote. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen the mouse poop saga. I opened that one particular tote just to like see what was in there when we were carrying everything upstairs and saw that it had been unfortunately infested with mice had gotten in there. Um, I was able to salvage a lot of the items. There were many tears shed because it's like the tote of stuff I really, really wanted to be able to keep. Luckily I was able to salvage a lot of the items and I'm going to be DIYing them. Um, but we're gonna get into all that. But yeah, so that's why we are down a tote and there's just like sporadic Christmas decor. The mouse, mouse poop gate 2021. Okay, so first things first is I know I'm, I'm just gonna take out everything like I know for sure I'm gonna keep. So I know that I am keeping both of the trees. This is a pencil tree. We also have a six or seven foot tree that is flocked from King of Christmas. We did get a new tree this year, but we're definitely gonna talk about that in my big Christmas haul. So I know that I'm keeping both of the trees I already have, and then I did get two new trees, but we are actually going to have a total of five trees. One in each room and then one outside. I know Brian's most excited about the one that's going to go outside because we're going to get a real tree. But yeah, so I know I'm going to keep these. I also got this wreath on clearance last year from Target, so I know I'm going to keep this. It's a really pretty flocked wreath. Let me go ahead and open this for you so that you can see it. 
but yeah it's just like a really really pretty flocked wreath i got that on clearance last year and this wreath holder so i know i'm definitely going to be keeping and using these items and not making any changes to them i also know for sure that i'm going to be keeping this merry christmas sign i'm pretty sure this is from big lots last year i definitely want to do a big lots video this year as well but i probably won't be doing that until after i already do my decorating because i can always add to my decorations but i want to get those up as soon as possible so that i can give you inspiration for when you do your decorating but i know for sure i want to keep this merry christmas sign and i'm like 99% sure it's from big lots i also know for sure i'm going to be keeping this it's the most wonderful time of the year sign it's in that dark green color that um we are going to be doing pops of i actually got this on clearance at target for like two dollars and fifty cents because they ended up giving it to me for 90 percent off i ended up randomly finding it in like march or april and they were it was just sitting on the shelf there was actually two of them and they were like yeah you can have it for 90 percent off so i literally got this for two dollars and fifty cents um in this past spring and i'm so excited that it's finally time to pull it out and put it to good use okay so that is it for everything for like big items that i'm for sure keeping and not making any changes to now we're gonna go down to the floor and kind of start to go through the totes I'm not gonna be able to go through every single item and I will go over after like why I'm deciding to DIY it or just keep it as it is or donate it um, but let's get down to business and defeat the hunts no I'm just kidding let's go ahead and get down uh, on the floor and start to dig into these totes because that's where all the good stuff is okay so we're gonna go over this tote first I'm pretty sure this is filled with a lot of items that I got again on clearance last year after Christmas was over so I want to get into this one because I feel like this is stuff that I bought last year like, wanting to use this year and I just really am excited to see what's in here so the first thing is a tree skirt. It's actually a reversible tree skirt. So it's like gold on this side, white on this side. I am gonna keep this for now because we're gonna have so many different trees. And I don't know, I just think that we'll be able to like end up getting use out of it. The next thing I'm so excited about is this Merry Christmas pillow. Um, I again got this on clearance after Christmas. I believe it's from Target. Actually, maybe I used this last year because the tag is ripped off of it. So I think I used this last year. We are doing green again. We are doing a little bit of a darker green, but I'm still gonna go ahead and keep this because I want to be able to use it and I think I'll be able to make it work even if the shade of green is not the exact same as a lot of the other items that we're gonna be using. Next in here is this bag from Hobby Lobby. Ooh, okay. So this is filled with mini wreaths. Last year, I picked up three of these mini wreaths. They definitely need a little bit of love. I think I got them for like 80 or 90% off and they were originally $24.99. I wonder if the receipt is in this bag. Um, but I did get three of these and I'm definitely gonna be keeping them. I already know exactly what I'm gonna do with them, but I'm gonna keep that a surprise until I actually do my decorating video because I can't give away all my little tips and tricks you know i want to save something exciting for the decorate with me video but yeah really excited to use these definitely holding on to them the only other two things in this tote are this white house historical association um uh, ornament which is interesting i'm sure brian's gonna want to hold on to that and then a bunch of christmas lights that are super neatly packed away in here and we are definitely holding on to those they I'm pretty sure they're brand new. They don't look like they've been used at all and they're in this super nice container. So since I'm keeping everything that was in this tote, I'm gonna put it back in here just for organization purposes and mark this off as we're keeping it. The next tote I know is going to have, it's, I think it's gonna be like a pretty big mix of like keep and return. Oh my goodness, if you can see everything that is in here, this is like literally packed to the brim so i'll pull out like some items and we'll decide and then i'm gonna kind of like speed it up and you can kind of just see my thought process through it um but just sped up because i don't think you want to literally see me go through every single item and like i said once i have all the piles figured out we're gonna go a little bit over what i'm gonna do with the diy items and why i want to donate the donate items and yeah so let's go ahead and get into it so the first thing on top is a good housekeeping cookie cookbook it is from the dollar spot like one or two years ago this was $5. I'm going to hold on to this for now because I have a couple other Christmas books that I actually thrifted that I'll show you in my big decor haul from stuff I purchased this year. So I want to hold on to this just so that I have another Christmas book to add to those. So many like dollar spot items in here. So this sleigh that has green accents. Ugh, I'm going to put this in like, I'm going to do like a maybe pile, like a whole separate maybe pile because it does have those green accents that I want to do, but I don't really know about it. Okay, so 
Next up is this dollar spot sign. So I did use this one last year. So you basically, it comes with all these different signs. You can have it say like Merry Christmas with the amount of days. Um, I am going to, again, put this in the maybe pile because I'm, I'm just going to revisit it once I see how many things I'm actually going to donate versus keep. <laughs> Next is this holly jolly Christmas sign. I'm not going to hold on to this. I'm actually going to go ahead and put this in the donate pile. So the first item that is going to donate. Oh, cute. Okay, so this is the countdown calendar. This is from the dollar spot like several years ago. Just has the little wreath. I did actually pick up the one from the dollar spot this year, um, but I do think I am still going to hold on to this, but I'm going to put it in the, we're going to come back to this pile, which is the biggest pile so far. Next up, we have some Christmas coasters. I'm actually going to put these in the donate pile. I want to try to find different Christmas coasters. One of them broke, so we only have three, and I would prefer to have a set of four. So I'm going to put these in the donate pile and add Christmas coasters to my list of things that I want to try to pick up. Next in here is this, we wish you a Merry Christmas sign. This is from Big Lots as well. It's super cute. It just has like the three little trees. I'm going to hang on to this because it is neutral and white with the green accent. So I'm going to put that in the key pile. Now I'm going to kind of like speed through things and kind of speed it up. And then when we get to the next tote, I will slow things back down again and kind of like see where we're at. We're just going to go ahead and assess. But I'm going to dig into here because we could literally stay here all day. And I feel like I'm the most excited for the DIY part. So I really am excited to show you what I'm doing with the items that I want to DIY. So let's go ahead, speed this up, and I'll come back to you in just a minute. empty it's just filled with glitter and a bunch of pine cones um so let me kind of show you the piles and where we're at right now okay so so far here is my keep pile this is my maybe pile and that is my donate pile i'm pretty sure the next tote this one right here is filled with ray dunn so this will be an interesting one to go over okay so as you can probably see from the top of this the top is like raised it's so packed on top there is this pillow um i'm not going to be doing much red the only red that you will see is on floor arrangements with some berries so this pillow is actually going to be donated like i was saying this tote is full of tons of christmas ray done so I don't actually think I'm going to be decorating with any of my Ray Dunn. I'm going to keep it up here and some of it may make an appearance if I find a little spot and I want to put something out. Um, but I'm not going to be getting rid of my Christmas Ray Dunn because I feel like when we have kids, I will want like the Santa's cookie canister and a lot of the really awesome items that I have in here. But I did downsize my Christmas collection like a ton. Um, the only things let's like look at what I still have because honestly, I don't really remember when we moved I was like giving Ray Dunn away. So I still have the Merry Christmas croc um, I actually don't think I will be replacing my croc with that, but maybe who knows I did also keep the gingerbread cookie canister. I Really really love this one. I feel like this one like people like they sleep on it like they're like oh yeah i have it because it's ray done and it's christmas but like i don't know it's definitely one of my favorites in here is also the red merry christmas canister like i said definitely like holding on to all of this if you want to see my full ray done christmas collection in all of its glory when i still had everything i will leave a link to my ray done christmas collection video that i did last year i used to have so 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 much i've downsized by probably like 80 percent so i've only kept the stuff that like i I really really love I kept this ho 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 cookie roller but I think I'm gonna go ahead and just put this straight into the donate pile because I do not want it <laughs> next up there are just some greens in here I'm just gonna stick these over here and then here are the stockings that we had last year so I had this like pink fuzzy one and then he had this white fuzzy one but i am getting new stockings for us this year so these ones will be getting donated also in here are two more of the dollar spot felt trees from last year i don't really think i want to keep these so i'm going to go ahead and donate them <laughs> down at the bottom of here is just like a bunch more ray done there are oh my goodness 
Okay. I definitely still have a good amount. Mixed into here as well are some dollar spot trees, the bigger glass ones. I did lose some of these last year, but there are some amazing ones in the dollar spot this year. For now, I am hanging on to all of these. I do think I am gonna DIY some of them, so we'll be talking about that in a little bit. And then I think the rest of this is all Christmas Ray Dunn. Ooh, a kitchen towel, oh my gosh, perfect. This is a green kitchen towel that I must have gotten on clearance last year but this perfectly matches the green that i want to do this year so i'm really excited to have found this christmas clearance shopping after christmas is like my favorite so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss all the videos i do after christmas for where to find the best christmas clearance deals and christmas clearance hauls because that's like one of my favorite times of the year to shop okay quickly popped you off the stand because i want to show you the rest of the ray dunn that is in here just really quickly for those who are curious i know some of you love ray dunn some of you hate ray dunn but i just want to show you the christmas items that i do still have so in here there are three more canisters the green Merry Christmas teapot. I may end up decorating with that. Um, a couple of Christmas mugs. This jingle spoon rest. Um, so in here is a Santa's cookie canister. So that is that one. This one is definitely jingle bells. I love jingle bells. If you watch my videos, you definitely know. And then this one is reindeer snacks, which I think that one is so cute too. And I feel like our future kids will just like love having these really fun and festive items. I also have green measuring cups in here, which apparently have become quite the hot commodity. And then some fun mugs like peppermint mocha, Mrs. Claws. This one says Merry Christmas. Over here, I also have this one that says Mr. Claus, and then a green one that says Fa La La. And then I have this um, salt and pepper stacker set. Okay, JK, maybe I don't have that anymore. <laughs> I think. All right, we're good. Okay, so I have that over there, and that is all of the rest of the Christmas Ray Dunn that I have in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the Ray Dunn back in here as nicely as possible. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put everything into the categories, if we're gonna keep it how it is, DIY it and donate it, and we're gonna go over all the piles, and then we're gonna get to DIYing. I'm so excited, I'm like trying to race through the rest of it so that I can start DIYing, because I have some really fun ideas. Okay, so here is the keep not changing anything about it pile. Some of this stuff may change. I may decide to DIY it. Here is our DIY pile for now. I actually have an item that I bought this year that we are going to DIY in this video as well, but it is a new Christmas item. I have some fun stuff planned for these trees. And then here is the donate pile. Like I said, I did uh, go through my stuff a lot last year, but I feel like with this stuff taken out, you can really see the new like vision super neutral golds silvers whites and dark green and i'm really really happy with this pile um i'm just glad that i'm able to reuse a lot of the stuff from this year and this stuff i'm excited to make work with all of these items okay so this is what i am donating and i'm excited for it to go to a new home so sorry if the lighting in here has gotten progressively like cooler and more gloomy it is such a weird day outside it's super 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 windy and just like super overcast we've gone through periods of it being like sunny and nice today and now it is gloomy so sorry for the lighting in this video but let me go grab the other item that we're going to be diying we're going to be hauling all of this stuff and so much more in my future christmas decorate with me video so you can't see anything else if you couldn't guess, we're coming for this red sign. So this sign I actually purchased this year at Walmart. I think it is so cute, but I think it just, you know, it would look prettier if it was a champagne color. So we are going to be spray painting these. Okay, so for the items we're gonna be DIYing, everything we need is in this bag. I am so, can you guess what it is? Okay, so from Joanne Fabrics, but you can get them at any like craft or hardware store. I picked up four cans of spray paint. I did get, I'll go over all of them with you. So I did pick up a 
matte clear coat so this is the one that i picked up but any will work then i picked up this craft and hobby imagine metallic champagne color i just thought that this would be so pretty i love that with the champagne colors they're not too warm and they're not too cool which is what i was kind of trying to do so that i could use silvers and gold so i picked up this one then the next one that i picked up was this one i'm so excited about this is a craft and hobby imagine one as well but this is a stone textured spray so it's meant to look like that at the top I saw a TikTok a really long time ago where a girl did a dollar store DIY where she actually um, like glued a bowl to a cup and made this like standing bowl but she spray painted it with this and it made it look just so expensive and so nice so I'm really really excited to try this out I've never used a textured spray paint before then I did pick up a just a flat white primer um, I just wanted to be able to prime the items like the green trees just so that we can make sure they are totally covered But I'm so excited to be spray painting all of these items I'm going to be spray painting the this house believes sign gold and then a lot of the trees I'm gonna do a mix of like the champagne gold and this Textured spray paint. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited The tall sage green trees are I think gonna look so good when they are spray painted with this textured spray paint Oh my gosh, I actually forgot a big item that I'm gonna DIY it is right here and it is this giant tree collar so right now it is like a gray color i'm going to try to spray paint it champagne we're not going to use this for our main tree anymore but we are going to use this for one of our other trees and i don't know i just don't really like gray so i want to see if i can transform it um into either like the champagne color or just to white i just think i'll like it a lot better if it is one of those colors so we're also going to be diying this just want to show you a couple more items that i am keeping from years past these items were like drying from all the bleach i sprayed on them from the mouse incident but these um like plushy trees that i got last year from joann's i'm keeping for sure i'm kind of just like packing everything away now um this big beaded snowflake that i got on clearance last year at hobby lobby keeping for sure down here there are my like studio mcgee trees so keeping those and here's just another overview of stuff i still have to pack away these i got on clearance last year from the target wonder shop these three um white trees in the gold pots so really excited about those and yeah just have to get this all packed away because we're not decorating today tomorrow but not today so i want to get it just packed away for now and then we can get started on the diy Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion, let's go to the ocean. I was really excited to get started with one of the DIYs I was most excited about and that was this sign from Walmart. I really love it but like I said red doesn't really go with our decor and I decided to prime it first to cover that really dark red color hoping that the gold would go over it pretty seamlessly. I don't work with spray paint very often because living in Florida it's really hot and humid and spray paint really does not like to set but luckily it's cooling off a lot where I am. Cooling off for us is like high 70s <laughs> so definitely different than where most people live but it's definitely cool enough now where I knew that I could use spray paint so I was excited about that I wanted to prime a lot of the different items so I kind of did that first just to get those base layers down but I did struggle a little bit with the insides of the letters so the finished product you'll see I mean it looks perfect but if you really really look at it the inside of some of the letters was a little bit difficult for me to get but so far so good and I also wanted to prime the taller trees honestly you guys I was just kind of winging it
champagne spray paint is seriously so beautiful. I'm so happy with the color. Like I said, I picked this up at Joann's if any of you are interested in doing a project like this yourself. Seriously, so happy with the color. The application was beautiful and I'm so happy with the result. Also, I'm just wondering, does anybody else sing along to the royalty-free Christmas music or is that just the people who actually make the videos? I feel like if you watch enough different YouTube videos, you will learn the songs just like we do. So I just want to know, do you guys sing along to the songs or is that just us? Now it is time for the part that I was definitely the most excited about because of that TikTok I saw. But let me tell you, this was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And also, it is messy as heck. I really was not sure when I first started applying it. I don't know. It doesn't look as good as I thought it was going to look. But just wait until you see the finished result, I guess. But look, it seriously got all over everything. A snowman is twice the size as me with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform and all the Christmas songs that we love. Get yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while, we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Clearly, by my outfit, you can tell it is a different day that I'm working on these. It's just getting dark out so early. That's the winter. Um, I'm scared that these stone textured items might be a fail. And I'm really sad because that was like the whole reason I wanted to do this video was to try out the stone textured spray paint. Um, but it's not drying. So that's a problem. It's not drying and I know I'm gonna have to do several coats. Sorry, I like let my hair air dry today and it's just very fluffy. Um, I'm not gonna say it's a fail yet. I just wanted to let you know that it might be a fail. <laughs> but if nothing else, because I think the house and the other little wooden trees are a fail, um, I think that the two golden trees will be good, which are this, oh, and also that one's okay, and the little one that's out here, and then my belief sign. Those weren't a fail, but I really hope the stone stuff is not a fail. Okay, update. I figured out why I think I don't like them. They look sandy. <laughs> So they kind of remind me of like the nautical BG um, decor from Home Goods, and not like this like cool, expensive looking decor from like Pottery Barn. But I'm gonna see it through and see if I can like make it look cute, or like if it looks cute in the end product. But as of right now, it looks sandy. Not a vibe. So here is the finished result. A couple things ended up getting trashed because I messed them up with the textured spray paint, but this is what it ended up looking like. I'm still not 100% sold on it. I definitely am interested to see what you guys think down in the comments. Do you also think that it looks sandy? I like this one better for sure. The shorter tree to me looks way better than the taller one. I don't know if there's just too many textures going on on the taller one. Let me know what you think down below. And here is the This House belief sign I am obsessed alrighty everybody well that is gonna be it for me I really really hope that you enjoyed seeing this year's DIY decorate or declutter I'm really happy that I was able to kind of weed out the things that don't fit into my decor anymore and make some of those items work with my decor now by DIYing them which is so fun I don't do enough DIY videos on this channel but I'm hoping to change that in 2022 which is so crazy to even be thinking about 2022 but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know down below was your favorite transformation I just love all the trees and I'm really happy with everything and how it came out I'm really excited to see what you guys think about everything but if you haven't yet please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up it really helps out my channel helps other people to find my videos make sure you hit the subscribe button so i can hit 50k by christmas and that's pretty much gonna be it for me i'll see you next time bye guys